Here's our unit ratio technique lesson for mass examples. So for this example, we want to convert 2.35 short tons to pounds. And notice how short tons and pounds are both imperial units. So same method as before, start with our given measurement in units. So there's our 2.35 tons. Now we don't specifically write short tons, but we should be recognizing that that is what we're dealing with here. We need to find an equivalence to change from our given units to the desired units. So we're going to look on our tables or some whatever source we have, but please for, remember for our tests, we're going to use our tables for short tons to pounds. When I look that up, I see that one short ton is equal to 2,000 pounds, and that is from our tables of equivalences. I'll multiply by that unit ratio. So I'm going to have the pounds in the numerator and the tons in the bottom. And again, why is that the case? Well, we need the tons to be canceling out and the pounds to be staying. So since it's in the numerator here and the denominator here, they just cancel out like terms. We'll gather our numbers into our calculations. So 2.35 times 2,000 and just divide it by 1. And note again, I didn't mention this before, but LB is the symbol for pounds in the imperial system. And we get 4,700 pounds as our answer. Here's an example. We want to switch from 5,200 pounds to tons, T-O-N-N-E-S. And we should recognize that, well, pounds is imperial system, but tons, T-O-N-N-E-S, that is the metric symbol system. So starting with our given measurement in units again, there's our 5,200 pounds, and again the LB is the, is the imperial um, symbol for pounds. We're going to look up our tables of equivalences, and again I'm going to find two here, because you know remember we can have one step, two step, we could have three, four, five, however many our um, situation calls for, and I notice that there is no straight equivalence from pounds to metric tons. But I do have metric tons to kilograms and kilograms to pounds. And by the way, you know, we might have m more than um, these equivalences. Like, you know, there might be other ones that we could also use. So since I have pounds to start with, I'll start off with the 2.205 pounds is the same as one kilogram. And then I'll use the one ton is a thousand kilograms. So this is going to be a two-step process again. So I start with pounds. I want pounds to go away. I want kilograms to stay. Then I want kilograms to go away, and I want tons to stay. Now I've chosen to write it out, the word T-O-N-N-E. -N -E. You could use just the symbol T for metric tons. We'll see how the units are canceling. So the pounds disappear, the kilograms disappear. I'm left with just the units I want, tons. And now I can gather my numbers and do my calculation. So 5,200 times 1 times 1 divided by 2,205 times 1,000. And again, you know, you may choose not to write these ones there. Perform the calculation, and our final answer is 2.358 tons. So our 5,200 pounds is now equivalent to or equal to 2.358 tons to three decimal places. Another mass example, we're going to convert 25,000 milligrams to pounds. So again, we have to recognize metric system, imperial system. Standard process, start with our given measurement in units, so 25,000 milligrams. Look up our tables to find equivalents to change milligrams to pounds. We should maybe anticipate again that this is going to be a two-step process. When we look at our tables, we can see a pounds to gram equivalence. And then we're going to have to recognize, well, I'm going to be then in um, metric and imperial, but I don't have grams, I have milligrams, so I need an equivalence from the metrics prefix table. Briefly reviewing that again, here's my base unit of grams, and I want to have grams and milligrams. So milligrams, one step, two step, three steps to grams. So remember 10 times 10 times 10. So 10 cubed is 1,000. So there's 1,000 of these little milligrams in one gram. And again, many different ways to uh, use and interpret the um, prefix table. You know, this is my chosen method. You might have a different one. Uh, work with whatever your strength is. Let's go ahead now and multiply by the ratios. So I want to get rid of milligrams, so I need the equivalence with milligrams first. 
so milligrams and grams. And then I need to get rid of the grams so that I'm left with pounds, so pounds and grams. Let's see how the units cancel out. So our milligrams are canceling and our grams are canceling. Now this step in noticing how the given units cancel out, this is sometimes called dimensional analysis. So you can see how our dimensions or our units, how the units we had disappear, turn into something else, the something else disappears and turns into what we want. So this is going to be a skill that's going to be really important for you to understand in uh, engineering technology. And it's this technique, unit ratio technique, lends itself to dimensional analysis nice and simply. Let's gather our numbers and do our calculation now. So 25,000 times 1 times 1, and 1,000 times 453.6, and there's our units pounds. And our final overall answer to three decimal places, 0.055 pounds.